What's up everyone, Trent here. Long with Julia. Welcome back to the channel and we've got our first official look at Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Yes, or Ant-Man 3 for sure. Exactly. And we get to see Paul Rudd back as Scott Lang, which is always delightful. I love Paul Rudd, but my boy Kang is coming to cause some chaos and conquering in the movies. And I can't wait to see. So let's check it out. Let's Jonathan go. Majors is going to kick ass. I used to ask myself a lot of questions. Scott, you're an ex-con. How are you an Avenger? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Baskin Robbins always knows. But everywhere I go, people tell me the same thing. Thank you, Spider-Man. <laughs> oh. oh. Just don't need help, Dad. That's why we made this. Oh, hey, Cassie. It's like a satellite for deep space, but Quana. Wait, Good. wait a minute. You're sending a signal down to the quantum realm. Turn it off. Now. I love Michelle Five for this, Janet. Uh-oh. Oh, no. She's stuck back in. She got out last movie and now she's back in. Yep. Oh wow. Oh wow. Where are we? When are you gonna come down? <laughs> hey Elton. Oh, oh nice. Look like you all. I should have stayed on the farm. I should have listened to my own oh, so universe beneath ours. Like a microverse. What are you so afraid of? She's just trapped down here. Yeah, There's she knows. something I never told you. Yes! This place. Oh, wow. It is oh, wow, big. that is an army. <laughs> Bill Murray. I can get you home. Oh, I love Wasp suit. Oh God! If you help me, yes, <laughs> and the full costume and everything. So, what's it gonna be? Oh, the scar on his face. What's it gonna be, Ant Man? So I wonder why Kang needs Ant-Man's help. Mm. Wasp suit looked amazing. Yeah, that it had looks... that really classic look to it, which I love. Yeah. Not the classic classic, but the... The current, current comic. Classic. Common, <laughs> the current <laughs> comic look, which is good. And she has the short hair too, and she has short which hair. is good. I love that. It look, it's going to be trippy. It's going to be mm. Doctor Strange level trippy. Well, the detail by the look of it in the CGI and the aliens and what they've created in the realm looks... Fantastic. Mm-hmm. So, we didn't get my big head boy. My big head boy, Modoc, didn't get shown then, much to my disappointment. Yet. yet <laughs> I know, yet. He's in it, but he didn't get shown, my big head boy. And I, I anyone who knows me knows my love of Modoc. Uh, so, I, I know that that's a nice little... That's going to be a tidbit that's shown later, and I'm very much looking forward to that. The suit... Kang's suit, very comic accurate. Loved the the blue. Um, it's almost like a space helmet yeah, look like they had instead of instead of the instead of the instead of it being attached to his face. He had the actual scarring mm. instead, which was which was interesting. I am very intrigued. <laughs> oh no! Very intrigued. Is Kang the big threat that? Janet Van Dyne is referring, or is it Modoc, or is there someone, someone else? else? Is it to do with Bill Murray's character? I oh god, can we get an evil Bill Murray? <laughs> well, he's playing he's playing he's playing Kryla, I think, who's a who's a one note villain from a Hulk book. Mm -hmm. He literally had one appearance, very much like Arthur Harrow's. So he's going to have free reign to basically be molded into whatever. To and whatever he's a, we need. He's a scientist. Okay. So that could be a way for Modoc to get brought back in. And also develop tech for Kang. Mm. But it'll be interesting, is Kang the one that's being referred yes, to? We've had we've had some we've had some red herrings and questionable trailers in is Namor the bad guy in Wakanda Forever? Mm. Who's pulling the strings? Who is the who is the big threat in this? I think Kang's gonna be a huge threat. 
And that army and fortress very much looked like it could be a... Um, it's either the MCU's version of Damocles Vase mm. or it's going to be just the base he's built in the quantum realm. But it's going to be very interesting. Trippy visuals. Trippy the, visuals. the giant man being dissolved back into... Yeah, the, yeah. it was... It's going to be really interesting to see this coming from Ant-Man because the last couple of movies have been very kind of ground level. Yeah. It's been very based in on Earth and... It hasn't been too of, trippy. It hasn't been too trippy and they haven't delved deep into the kind of quantum science sci-fi aspect to it. And this looks like they're going balls for leather into it, which I'm excited for. Well, that's one of the things Phase 4's had. And for good or for... For good or for bad, whether you've enjoyed it or whether you haven't, I personally have. They've taken risks mm. and they've gone, they, they've kept it less grounded because they're exploring, exploring the universe. so many yeah. different things. They're exploring magic, they're exploring the universe, mm. they're exploring the multiverse. They're, ex they're just exploring different worlds and alien species mm. and races. And it's, they're, they're taking creative risks yes, with definitely. the storytelling. And I think this is going to be the perfect film for that to build upon the quantum realm. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see. We got to see more of Cassie, which yes, is good. which is good. She looks really good in her little suit too. And I feel like it's going to be a... Yeah, I feel like it's going to be a family affair because they all yes, got sucked in. They all got sucked in. They all got sucked in. And I really just love Michael Douglas <laughs> and Michelle Pfeiffer. I wish that this was all when they were younger and they were actually able to play Hank and mm. Janet on screen as a young version of them. Like if the MCU was 20 years before, yeah. it, they would have been perfect. They would have but been. I am very much, very much intrigued and looking forward to it. Jonathan Majors just is a badass, and he looks like a badass in the new Creed as well. And I just think he's going to show so much versatility and range. And also what version of Kang is this? Is this yes. prime Kang? Is this another variant? Is this another variant? That's not going to be the big bad? Like, is this just mm. a, it's a, a Kang to introduce people to what Kang is? Yes. Or is this Kang yes. Prime that's going to be the Kang we see progress throughout the movies? Because, yeah, if it's just a variant, then that means very, very bad things because then the big, big bad Kang's still to come. Yep. But we're, we're finally getting a glimpse of what the Conqueror can is. Do. And, yeah, and can do. And just, he's, he's from the 40th century. He's got the tech. He's, he's evolved. He's conquered everything. He's... Always wanting to go after the Age of Heroes because that's the the toughest to mm. conquer. He's conquered every other timeline, every other era, but the Age of Heroes always causes him grief. Mm. So yeah, I, I can't wait. Leading all to the Kang Dynasty, and yeah, there is a Kang book that came out last year, five issue miniseries. Awesome! It's Kang fighting himself basically and and meaning his purpose. Uh, can can he break his cycle? Really good look. Uh, really good book. Same with the Doctor Doom miniseries, but if you mm. want to pick up a Kang book that you really want to read and just learn just how awesome he is, the best book ever, The Kang Dynasty by Kurt Busiek. Pick it up. You will not regret it. Yes. That's all from that's all from us. <laughs> Anything else you want to add? No, I'm good. And Yellow Brick Road was a fitting song yes, too. Yes, it was. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, tell us your thoughts on Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, aka Ant-Man 3, in the comments below. Can you say the title? No. No? I, I, I limit myself at three syllables. Okay. Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. I'm Trent. I'm Julia. And as always, keep, keep it, it nerdy. nerdy.